dreary Saturday for us here. Yes, we're raining right. outside. Right, Rascal? Yes, we take it. Oh, my goodness. So welcome to our double header weekend here for Memorial Day weekend. It goes with the double header. Yes, we're doing it twice today. <laughs> welcome to the Abstract Eiffel Tower virtual painting yes. session. While you check in, let us know where you're painting from. So we can give you a shout out. If any kids are with us today. Rascal, you're the right. That's the right, buddy. I'm right here with you. Yeah. We're excited to paint today. Yeah, today's a good day to paint. We're yeah. here in New Jersey and we've just been raining all day. <laughs> all right, we got people checking in now. Oh, we've got right. Terrell Lynn. Hi, says Terrell. hello. Welcome back. Addie and Michelle are here from Roxbury. Hi, Addie and Michelle. All right, we got somebody up early in the morning in California. <laughs> oh my gosh, it Christina is. Lay. Hi, Christina. From Santa Clara. Welcome. It's a good way to start the morning off, you yeah, know, really. just to paint. Hopefully, you guys don't have no rain out there. We're raining all day today. Gloomy day to start the yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Hey, Leanne says hi. Hi, Leanne. Then we've got uh, Renee Garitano from uh, Long Island, New York. Thanks so much for the therapy and these hard times. <laughs> You're welcome. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. That's and what we're doing it for. Maja Bozik is here. Hi, Maja. Yes, Christina says we are excited to pretend we are in Paris. I, you know, <laughs> I will pretend. I've never been there in real life. Karen, One of these days. Karen Nero is uh, from Massachusetts. Is here with us this morning. Well, this not this morning, but today. Kind of. This afternoon. Feels like morning. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's been raining all morning here. Seriously. Kim Maxwell says hi there, joining you from Massachusetts. Hi, Kim. This Welcome. is my first time painting on a canvas. Really, Aww. my first time painting since I was a kid. And I'm psyched. I'm excited for you. We can't wait to help. Yeah, can't it's always nice you. and uh, new people come and join us. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, return return uh, uh, people. Thank We've you, got, guys. Uh, let's see if I can say this. <laughs> uh, we have Shilpa. Partha Sarafi, excited to be a part of it. Okay. Thank you for joining us this, this Thank afternoon. Thank you. We've got Janice Magris from uh, Connecticut. Great. Sue Lindemann Berman from Warren, New Jersey. Hi, Sue. Thank you. All right. See, the people from New Jersey, we are, we're sitting up early this, this morning and uh, this afternoon oh, now. We've got rain and, no, you know, people were looking forward to going out and doing stuff today and not yet social distancing and all of that stuff but uh not yet. it's been a rainy day we've got clay and copper saying thank you for Hi. this thank you you're welcome thanks we've for got watching. amy from massachusetts Hi, amy we've got veronica dasta from connecticut hey veronica and uh okay we've got cheryl o'connell lambo saying we are from north arlington hi cheryl Okay, we got Ankita Sabal. Will you post the recording later if we're unable to do it right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Every time we do a, a, a virtual session, we always leave that event with a, a, a video that accompanies it. Yeah. So if you don't join us live during the, uh, during the uh, painting, then uh, you can always go back, go back to the events just like you do to come here, and then click on uh, whatever event it was that you missed or whatever event that you might want to paint. Yeah. And um, you just click on that, and the video is right there for you. Yeah. All right, we've got Dee Costa Quesada from hey, Rhode hey. Island. Welcome back. And we've got, oh, Maja is from Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Okay. Okay, and we've got uh, Eva, and she says, uh, I'm with my mom, and I'm from Colonia, New Jersey. Oh, welcome. Yeah, it's not far from where I, where I come from, Rahway. <laughs> okay, Kimberly Valchek. Hello from Salem, Massachusetts. Hello, Kimberly. Hey, guess who's back? Anya. Anya's <laughs> back. 
She's like, I'm so excited for this Hi, painting, especially Anya. because I know French. <laughs> oh, that's Bonjour, neat. mes amis. Oh, I know not. Hello, my friends in French. Did you receive the photos for the camp? From the camp out painting? Thank you. You guys did a great job. Yeah, it was a great job last that night. That was so much fun. I love seeing everybody's little banners that you guys made were great. Yes. So, so good. Thank you, guys. Oh, okay. Now, before I said Shilpa, Prophet Serafi is actually Bumika from Vermont. <laughs> Hi, Bumika. How are you? Yes. Welcome. <laughs> We're excited. We're going to give everyone another minute or so to check in, and then we'll go over our supplies. Yes, yes, because we still got people checking in. Yep. Okay, we've got Azalea from Ooh. Santa Clara, California. I love that name. That was from Christina Lay, so that's Azalea who's on there. Hi, Azalea. Okay. And then, uh, oh, okay. Oh, there we go, finally. Uh -huh. All right, we've got a James Voles, uh, excited to paint, from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> we, we always get some Canadians <laughs> to join us, we we love regardless having, of the time. Yeah, we love having her. Canadian neighbors join us. It's so much fun. Oh, look at this. Okay, um, seriously. Sus Susana Lopez, Hi, Susana. Nadia, and Susie from Madrid, Spain. Oh, that's so It's cool. a sunny late afternoon here, and wow. we love the hour, the, the Eiffel Tower. Me too. All right, see now, it's it's sunny and late afternoon that's so there. <laughs> that's a nice way to start your weekend. You know, um, thank you so much for joining us yeah. all the way from Madrid. Thank you. All right. And, oh, wow. We got Vanessa Martinez Renuncio from Puerto Rico. Welcome. All right. So this is this is going to be a real nice event. <laughs> Linda Hawkins has rejoined us. Hi, Linda. Good afternoon. Danica, age nine, from Rhode Island. Hi, Danica. Thanks for painting with us today. We've got Allison Leonard saying hi. Hi. All right. Jeffrey Davis. Okay. Here with the wife and the daughter in Iron River, Michigan. So they're joining us again. That's nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Now it says here, Sam from N.O. That's New Orleans. Probably. I think. I've never okay. been there either. I've been there when I used to work on the Amtrak. <laughs> okay, we got Becky Zwiers. Hi, so Becky. Saying hello. This is me and my mom for the first time. I've always wanted to go to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to Paris when I'm 16. Aw. Awesome. Uh, keep that keep that dream going. Do it. Don't wait. Enjoy it. Really. Okay. Now, so wait. So, um, correction here. Uh -oh. It's not New Orleans that they're from. It is North Carolina. Ah. Okay, North Carolina. We love North Carolina. We love North Carolina. South Carolina. Yes, Meredith Sharp says hello. Hi. Mita Patel says hi. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, now, uh, Nikki LaCroix Steers says, me and my twin girls here from Massachusetts, and we're ready to go. Yay. All right, let's see. Um, good, we got a lot of people joining us this <laughs> afternoon. We're Tiffany glad. from Massachusetts, thank you for doing this painting. I'm excited for the, this beautiful you picture. I hope mine so looks welcome. as nice as yours. <laughs> Have faith and trust the process with me. I have to, I'll remind you guys that. <laughs> right, Sam is from North Carolina. That's Hi, what Sam. it is. Very and good. And then Bo from New Jersey, age six. Hi, Bo. Joining us today. Well, we can't wait to see your painting. Thanks yes. for painting with us. And Jody, Jody Golden it says, I'm back Hi, again. Hi, Jody. Karen says, uh, my daughter Lexi is painting with you today, age eight. Hi, Lexi. Awesome, awesome. Nina, seven from New Jersey. Hi, Nina. Okay, and then uh, Meredith Sharp says, my daughter, Hala, is here, age 11. Hello, Hala. And then Mita Patel says, mom and Irby from New Jersey, age 13. Very good. Thank you, guys. Wow, we're going to have a nice, nice, <laughs> busy uh, session today. Hi, it's Ethan from Bridgewater. Hi, Ethan from Bridgewater. New Jersey. I'm uh, 15 years old, stuck at home. It's raining. That's right. And Same. looking forward to the paint the Eiffel Tower and learn more about it. Aw, very good. All right. Linda says, uh, my daughter wants to go to Paris also. I'm painting this for a gift for her for her birthday. Good gift. Good gift, yes. How awesome would it be to accompany that with a plane ticket one of these days? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's Christine. what I'm hoping. I'm still looking. We've got I don't see mine yet. <laughs> We've got Christine Fredrickstroff uh, from New Jersey. Hi, Christine. And, uh, and Meredith says, again, thank you for doing You're this. You're welcome. All right, we got a nice little, uh, awesome. nice little group of people from all over, including Madrid, Spain. <laughs> We're gonna have a nice uh, Eiffel Tower, abstract, yes. abstract Eiffel Tower. Somewhat, somewhat. All right, so you ready to get started, I think Jennifer? So. You go right on ahead. <laughs> all right. So for those of you that don't know me already, I'm Jennifer. I'm Marcus behind the computer, reading off your names. We'll be reading your comments. If you need me to slow down, if you need me to repeat, I will do those things anyway. But if you need that again, just let us know. Um, we are Mimosas and Masterpieces. I'm out of South Boundbrook, New Jersey. Typically, we would be going and traveling. I don't have a, you know, we don't have a brick and mortar place. We are a traveling studio, so we go and bring the parties to you. Of course, with everything going on, we've been stuck here <laughs> uh, for over two months now. So we've just been doing free paintings for everybody, and we just want to bring everybody joy. It's great to take your mind off of everything going on right now. So just focus on what we're doing, and we're, we're more about, you know, more than just putting paint on a canvas. We want you to enjoy your time with your family. We want you to experience something great. Um, so we're happy to do this with you guys, um, and, and enjoy the day. You know, just focus on this for a little while. So, we have tons more of upcoming events, so feel free to join us for whatever you like. Um, we're in this one. Let's go over our supplies. So, I have a 16 by 20 canvas. I have, um, you're going to use, we're going to use a full, actually, we probably won't even use the flat brush, but so we'll mostly use a round brush like this. I don't even think we need the flat brush. Usually I use a flat brush and a round brush, but it looks like we're gonna be just using this today. We will have your cup of water to rinse your brushes, your paper towels to dry your brushes. We have a uh, at least one plate, one for our paints and then one to mix on when we're ready to mix. I usually just use the same plate. Um, let's just put our paints on our plate. So I started with red. We want all of our primary colors, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. If you want purple, you can add purple in there. So red, yellow, blue, black, white, and I'm gonna do a little bit of purple in there. Okay. If you have a pencil and you wanna sketch the tower with me before you paint it on, you may do that. If not, it's totally fine. If you just wanna go right in it with the paint, I'm gonna um, go ahead and sketch it out with a marker so you can see it first. I'll give you dimensions for everything as we go. But this way it's there and then it's easier to see and not paint over as we're doing that, those big dots in the background. So, paint with a mask. Red, yellow, blue, black, white, and purple. Give you guys just a minute to get your point tapes ready. Yeah, while you were doing that, we just wanted to let you know that uh, Michelle, Michelle from Connecticut joined on with us. Michelle. And um, uh, Allison Beck from uh, Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Hello. Has joined with us. And let's see what else we got. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Christine, Christine Fredericksdorf says, uh, well, I was supposed to go to Paris on the 30th. But I can't go see the Eiffel Tower, so I'm going to paint it. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. I don't know if this really makes up for it. There's no, <laughs> but oh man. Now Meredith and her daughter Hallie says, um, what are the paints again, please? What colors? So our paints are. It's going to be all your primary colors: red, yellow, blue, black, and white. And then I added purple, but you could mix purple. So it's up to you. This background is all just colors and it doesn't matter what colors you use we're just going to mix colors and make different shades um, the first thing we'll go through and do is um, draw our tower out get our grass in there and then we'll fill the background but I will walk you through step by step I have that black marker on the table so sure <laughs> yeah throw 
I can't throw it. Okay. I didn't want to get my... Okay. So if you have a pencil, or if you want to do this with your... Um, with a paintbrush, start with yellow, just so that you can, we're kind of kind of connect the dots, okay? So just grab your paintbrush with some yellow paint to do this if you wanna do that, or again, you can just sketch with a pencil for now. So I'm gonna give you some measurements. So from now, originally when, if anybody saw this painting, there's a bottom piece to it, there's just way too much extra instruction and we wanted to kind of get you guys wrapped up within two hours. So we're just gonna paint what you see from the paper up. So from the bottom of your canvas, I'm coming up about an inch to an inch and a half. That's gonna be like your little grassy area. From the left side of my canvas, I'm moving over about maybe two, three inches and I'm gonna put my first dot. We want to move in and do the same thing on the right side. Just move in about three inches and it's your first dot. This is this space that you're seeing here and on the other side. From each of these dots, we're going to move over another about two inches. So two inches from there and two inches from this dot. These are the bases of our tower. So this is where our base will come down on our tower. So again, it's about two, three inches from either side to start. Another two inches in on each. And we're gonna come all the way up here, right in the center of our canvas. And we're putting a dot right at the top of that canvas. There's kind of like a little, little pole tower on there, whatever. I'm just going to give it a little line, little vertical line about three quarters to an inch. So the first one I want to do is I want to do this little arc in the center here, this little arch. So we're going to connect these two dots, these inner dots, with an arch. So we're going to kind of come up and over with the first one. Okay, Margaret Paul Price says I'm using watercolors, but what kind of paint should I purchase? Um, you can use watercolors. Watercolors are fine. I use acrylic paint, so that's what I'll be using throughout all of our paintings. But if you know how to use watercolors and you're familiar with them, stick with watercolors. It's whatever you're comfortable with. They all work well, right? Whether you want to blend them or Water, mix them. Watercolors are not as, um, so watercolors are transparent so you can see through them. Okay. So acrylics will give you that, um, a base that you really can't see through as much and you can layer. That's all. But watercolors, you just come out a little bit differently. That's okay. Jamie says, I can't see the marker. Can't see the marker? Is it maybe, is there a, uh, a Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. It? I can see it. I can see it. If I can see it, then she's got to do oops, oops. Okay, so Jamie, the those first dots was about two inches in from either side, about an inch higher, about an inch up. And then another two inches in on either side is the next dots in. And then I connected the inner dots with an arch. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see where maybe she, she can't it's see it because see. it's tough to see, but I can see it though. And don't worry everybody, as we go along, we will be having her repeat the steps <laughs> of what you know what's being done and uh, while while we're doing our uh, while we get used to the painting and uh, when she gives her the instruction and we're continuing painting then I might read off a list of events that are coming up for the next wow. few weeks it's important to know though that this painting that I'm doing here is not gonna look exactly like this painting your paintings are not going to look exactly like either of mine. 
Okay. All of us are individuals. Our paintings are going to come out the way that we make them. All of our paints are different. So don't stress if it doesn't look exactly like what I've got. Mine is not going to look exactly like this, I promise. <laughs> all, you, all you got to do is go back to the events and look at the pictures that people have sent in from all of the different uh, paintings that she's done over the last few weeks. <laughs> and you'll see the variations on all they of do. the different yeah. pictures. And they all look great. So... Like she says, she's starting to get this mantra called trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to have you trust the process as we go through this event, as we go through this session, and then you'll see the end results. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to come down about, let's say, halfway down our canvas. In the middle of our canvas, I want to create a horizontal line. I'm trying to look at it and do it straight. So, yeah. so about halfway, I want to go about maybe three inches wide for a straight line. That's gonna be this area here, this little part of the tower. And that, is that centered over that area? I don't even know. Yeah, now it is. <laughs> not directly, You know, it's, even our sketch, it doesn't, does not have to be perfect. We can fix while we're painting. That's right. While you're going, you're, you're gonna go, oh, maybe that needs to be a little bit bigger or smaller. We could fix that in painting, so. Don't stress too much. I just want to kind of get that drawn out for you so you have that image. <laughs> now, Meredith, who's with her daughter, Hallie, in uh, Niagara Falls, says, uh, Hi, uh, will there be more painting? Oh, yeah. We're oh, going to be painting. painting yeah. Today's doubleheader Saturday. We're going to be coming back tonight. You know, yep. And then tomorrow's a doubleheader. We're doing two, two sessions tomorrow. And I'll, I'll be reading off the list of all of the different events that are coming up all the way up into June. All right, we're gonna come down in between these two areas. So I probably wanna be maybe two inches higher than our arch. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna do another straight line across. Again, if it's too big, too small, we can fix that later. That is this platform area of our tower. Okay. <clears throat> now we're sort of gonna connect a little bit now. So I'm going to bring this little, uh, our little, what is this called? Antenna-ish. <laughs> the top of this tower. We're going to curve slightly down to the first, um, oh my gosh, platform, platform area. Okay. So in a curved line, I'm going to come down, I'm not quite going to the edge. We're going to do this. Same on this side, curve down. Abigail says they look like grumpy faces right now. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> so we have this like triangular area here. I'm gonna create this little thin triangle in here so that this is an open area. What are you doing, buddy? Cheryl has a question. It says, sure. is the Panda Bear a live video we can go back and watch? Not yet. Not yet. We, we yeah. haven't done that event yet. I haven't posted it yet. It's actually for a private birthday party. So we I do do private Zoom birthday parties or parties. Right. Um, that is for that event. <laughs> but we'll get there. I have lots coming up we haven't posted yet. We're sort of navigating the whole field of when can we get back out there and start doing public events mm -hmm. um, and charging for paintings right now we all you know like we are not charging i do have venmo or paypal if you decide on tips but it's there's no obligation so um we're kind of navigating that field right now <laughs> now cindy says can you go a little slower can you just uh, go up, uh, just repeat again yep what you did with the sketch part there yep. so again after so i don't know where you left off but after we did our little arch I came up to the center of my painting and I did about a three, four inch wide line here for one of the little platform decks, okay. viewing decks, I don't even know what they're called. Mm -hmm. And then I came down and not quite in the middle, closer to this, maybe two inches high from here. We did a longer one, slightly wider. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're doing this in pencil or even if you're doing it in paint, we can cover and move it, so don't worry too much. Well, and that's then where I, we left off, right? No, and then I brought some curved lines down from, from the, the top. tippy top of our little tower and 
So it's real thin at the top and it comes out to the first platform. Okay. And then I just added this little triangle in there so that this is open and this is part of our tower. Okay. I'm gonna kind of bring in these two little lines on a slight angle so it's sort of a trapezoid shape and then we're going to close that off okay. and I'm sorry if mine is crooked it's because I'm looking at the canvas this way and if it's crooked it's okay you can still fix we'll that fix when it you in. paint yep. yeah because it does look sort of crooked <laughs> sorry not just that not just that. Oh, yeah, this the one's crooked. Right there is crooked. Oh, God. Yeah, see? Yeah, I'm all over the place, guys. I'll fix it in. Now, you see how you just did that? Yeah. If they're doing that at home or it's wherever okay. they are, yeah. it's okay because we haven't even begun to paint. Right. It's just trying to get that tower on the canvas so that you have an idea of where it's going instead of painting everything and then trying to put it on top of what you've already painted. All right, so this is what <laughs> everybody should have on their canvas right now, the outline. How about that, yeah. So that they can be uh, so they can be guided through painting this Eiffel Tower. Yep. Okay. All right, so let's come to this little deck area here. We're gonna connect the dots here. So from each of our lines, we wanna use that same angle, almost, let's pretend it's almost like an invisible line. So we wanna Kind of use that as a guide. Okay, can you do that slowly so they can see? So I want to make sure that this is almost going to connect. Right, like that. Okay, So, but I want to connect this to this first. Okay. And then this to this side. Again, it's sort of like, you know, you can use a pencil or your, um, or your, your paintbrush, paintbrush as a guide. Okay. Like, okay, so we need to come up this way. We almost want the same angle here. Right. We're aiming for that same angle. Okay. And now we need to connect these two decks. And that'll give you the that'll give you the outline of your tower. Almost, yep. Yeah. We'll thicken these guys up so that you have a double layer here. Man. All right. Sorry for that interruption. Sorry for that interruption. <laughs> so we came down from this deck down to this deck. Yes. And I'm just making that second line to make it kind of doubly wide. So, let's see, which one is the straight one? The one up here? Yes, the top one. <laughs> the top one is the top one is the straight okay, one. Okay, so that's right. That's going in the right direction. Right. All right. So I may have to come out with mine. That's all. And so I may have to make mine a little bit wider. So we're gonna take this and come down again. So you corrected it? Yeah, somewhat. And again, it'll be corrected a bit more in painting. Right. And then we have this deck here, which again, we'll, we will add to this, but this is a long rectangle. And we can add all these little window things or a little railing areas when we get to painting. Okay. But that's just kind of a start. And then I sort of have the inside of this. So this is kind of a double wide. It's not just a single line of, a, of width. Right. So we want to make a double area. So this will be kind of your negative space, this is gonna be your gold area okay. of, your, of your, um, your tower. Again, all can be fixed in painting when we're painting, but we wanted to get that sketch on there to give you that idea of the area. All right, so we're gonna give people a few more minutes just yep. to finish their sketching. Kind of give us a thumbs up or so we know you're ready to go. And so you've already told to them the colors that they needed to have prepared in their yep. palettes. All our colors are on. All right, so then I guess we'll go uh, We'll talk about some upcoming events then, okay. so people can uh, so people can understand and know what we're going to be doing in the next few weeks. <laughs> okay, all of these, well, not all of them, but the majority of them are free. Yeah, there's only one that's not right now. Right, there's only one that's not right now. Let's start with tonight. Tonight, uh, to conclude our double header Saturday, 
It's going to be at 7 p.m. We're going to be painting the horse or the slash unicorn running in the water. That is this one back here. Can they see that in the... Can yes, it? it's up in the corner. Yeah, they see it nice okay. and clear right up there in the left-hand corner. So if you're interested in this event, we have asked their sketch of that is in the event already. You will print it out on two sheets of paper. So you may have to play with the photo, screenshot it, break it into two spots and then, or two copies and print them so that you can sketch this onto the back of your canvas. If we can get everybody to do that ahead of time, it will save us like a half an hour worth of time as you see sketching. <laughs> <coughs> What are you doing, Rascal? And you hear, Rascal is our, our mascot, my puppers, huh? He's our rescue, but he's constantly at my feet and running around me like, Mom, pay attention, huh? Yes, it's okay. Relax, 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 relax. How you guys doing? Well, we lost a couple of people for a second when the phone call came in. Ugh. I can't, uh, even the notifications are off. The no, but they're, but they're realizing, in. they're figuring it out. They're realizing, <laughs> okay, no, it was just for a blip for a second. Yes. And they're back, and they're caught back up. You have to go outside, huh? Dad, can you let Rascal Yes, come on, come on, on, Rascal. You got to go to the bathroom. Let's go. Go outside. Go ahead. Go come outside. On. Go, go. Rascal, go come on. Come go on. Ahead. Go, go. Go outside. Come on, Come on. Go outside. Oh my goodness. Just leave it open. Oh my goodness. I can't play right now, bud. I can't play right now. Rascal says he doesn't care. I know. I'm sorry. All right. We got everybody back, hopefully. You guys are yeah, okay? I think everybody's back up. All right. So let's start mixing some of our paints and let's start getting some paint on our canvas. How's that? Well, hold on one second. I'm sorry. That's okay. right. Um, right, see, people are saying they're ready to go further. Yeah. But um, I just wanted to make sure everybody's okay because there was a few people that said that they had lost you. Sorry. Right, and they're still doing their... Sketch? Sketch, yeah. Right, so, uh, we just had a phone call come in, unfortunately. Sorry. And um, and we just had to, uh, you know, <laughs> send it, I mean, delete it. <laughs> Voicemail. Right, send it to voicemail. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right, I got somebody here saying, please wait. Okay. All right, we'll wait another minute or two. All right. Well, let's go over for Sunday then. So we went over today. Tomorrow is um, the Moonlight Kitties. All right, now tomorrow night. In the afternoon. Oh, uh, tomorrow is a double header as well. We're doing the Mom and Me Moonlight Kitties. That's the one. That's the one p.m. Uh, session that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Moms, if you have little ones, again, there's a sketch of the cat that you can print out, and either you can um, put it on the back of the canvas and trace it, or you can cut it out and trace it. Whichever, whatever works. If you have little ones, if not, we will be going over the instructions to paint them. Right now, we just um, we're just reading off some events right now while a couple of people get caught up. And then we'll be ready to proceed. Yep. Um, yep. Now that evening at 7 p.m. on our double header tomorrow is the heart in the sand. That That's sense. after we've done the moonlight kitties at 1 o'clock. At 7 p.m. we'll be doing the heart in the sand. Okay. All right. And remember, all of our events are on the list. Okay. You just come, come to the Mimosas and Masterpieces page here on Facebook. And look to the left, you'll see a list of things, and one of them is events. You <laughs> click on events, and then that'll show you everything we got coming up. For yep. the next few weeks, it'll show the painting. So you can decide, oh, I like that painting. I want to do that one. <laughs> okay? So, uh, and, and please tell your friends, tell everybody, you know. It's, uh, we've, we've got a light, nice lineup of events coming up. Yeah. Okay, so I think everybody's pretty much caught up. Good deal. All right. Uh, one more thing, it's just Anya saying, when is the panda? We don't know when the panda is. Right, yet. we haven't we haven't made a date for the panda no, yet. The panda is a private Zoom birthday party. Oh, everybody's liking the panda, I know. baby. 
Panda is a private Zoom party for right now. Right. Anytime you want to know what we got coming up, just click on events and it'll have a whole <laughs> list of everything that we got going on. Yeah. All right. I got All smiles right. and thumbs up. I think yeah. everybody's ready That's to right. paint now. That's what they're like, let's go. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to start by painting the, the tower first. So we can start to kind of get that out of the way. It's sort of a, a base color and we can go back in and we'll add some other colors. So for now, I just want to paint that yeah, like a light yellow. So I'm just using a little bit of yellow and a little white and mixing and I'm just going to fill that tower in. And this is where if you want to kind of get it a little straighter, you can. And so when I'm doing a small area, I'm, I'm using what I call it. This is my pencil grip pinky stabilize. So I'm holding the pencil, uh, holding the pencil, holding the paintbrush on the metal area of it, like a pencil. Mm -hmm. And I use my pinky to lean on my canvas so that I have some control over my paintbrush. So you can do those smaller lines or those straighter areas. And that's all we're doing. We're just filling that in to start. Just get some base color on that tower. I'm just filling in that whole thing that you just sketched. Now I've got somebody saying, can you refocus the camera? The image is not very clear. Uh, um, is it I think they need to refocus their screen because the camera that they're to, using. You may have to pop out of it, come out of it, and then come back in. Yeah, or refresh it. Yeah, some because I'm looking at both. I'm looking at our camera here. It is clear. And then I'm looking at my feed. The feed is Just okay. like they will be seeing, and it's clear. Okay. Yeah, you may have to go out and come back in. That's all. We'll be here. We're in the discussion. Just click out of it. You can even close your Facebook completely. Go out and then come back in. Um, it's in the the video is in the event discussion, right? And that is exactly where we post it when we are done tonight That's where it will go. So again, I'm just using a light yellow color Some yellow and some white to just get a base color in there And that's the base color of your sketch. Yep. So we're just using this now one. somebody just started Okay, okay, and um, I, I don't know what to tell them Okay, Payal Gupta says, I just started. Can you wait? Um, mm, at this point, no. Uh, we, could, we can have her repeat the steps. But, um... Yeah, I, don't, I can't hold the main everybody point, up, The main portion was the sketch. Uh, what we suggest is if you, come in, so if you come in late enough where you can't catch up, then you'll have to wait for the video after we'll the We'll post the video as soon as we're session done. is over. But... So our sketch, if you, I mean, if you want to try to catch up, um, is an arch in the center of my canvas. It's kind of a double arch, and of course you're seeing multiple because I tried to fix it. Right. Um, we kind of have a point at the top of our canvas, and we almost like connected the dots from the very top to each of our corners, and then there is two platforms. Um, there's a center, like a triangle on this one, mm -hmm. and then a trapezoid shape in here. And then this, uh, this arch will be, which I'm filling in now, will be looking like this. And I'm going to go over it <laughs> because it was not quite the right shape. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then we're just using white and yellow right now to sort of Fill that in. And so you're painting over where you sketch. I'm painting it over so that I can just kind of go over it with a, with the right color. <laughs> Since okay. I messed that up, air, that, that area up a bit. Now, um, Meredith says, can I use gold? Of course you can. That'd be beautiful. That would be a beautiful color. Yeah, we'll go back in and we're gonna add some red in there to make it look a little shinier like gold. Mm -hmm. But if you have gold, that would be even better. Now <laughs> before she says, can I tell my friend? I don't know what that's referring to. Yeah. But of you course can, you could tell your friend. You can share it. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to catch up with us yet, but you can always share the video. Like when you, when we come on live, you can share the live video to your page and do a watch party 
you can share that with a bunch of friends so that you're all doing it together next time. Yeah, absolutely. And We're next public. time will be tonight at 7 p.m. where we do the horse and the unicorn. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> time oh really so now you need a plate I to mix do. hi buddy i'm sorry I'm you see anytime you go I close to rascal rascal's I'm gonna get excited sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay so all rascal knows is you just be painting all the time every <laughs> time i look at you you're painting sorry all right so our next step once you're done with your yellow in your tower we're rinsing and drying that brush okay then we're gonna make some green so we're gonna Kind of do some grassy areas in here some bushes that are over here um so we're just using about a scoop of blue and a big scoop of yellow probably need more yellow than blue here all right can you slow that down again please and say that again yep so we're going to create some green so i did about two scoops of yellow one scoop of blue you just want to get it to a green color that you like but this is all after they painted the Once. yellow and whites on their, uh, on your tower, on their yep. sketches. Okay, maybe you can wait just a little bit because yep. some people are saying, could you slow down? Yes, sorry. Yes, just slow me down if you guys need me to slow down. I also didn't want to hold, I don't want to hold everybody up to. Right, see somebody wants you to repeat the tower. The color of the tower? Uh, they just says, can oh. you repeat the tower? Um, okay, so for our bottom area, we started with, so the dots, we, we're connecting the dots, to about two inches in from each side. Yes. And then about another inch to two inches in is our first set of dots. So, so you have four dots. So you have four dots. Those are the legs of our tower. Uh-huh. And then you had an arch. And then actually, yeah, so that first... The inner dots were actually for the arch. Okay. I ended up fixing that later because I boo-booed. But the inner set of dots is an arch. All right. So you'll connect those two dots with an arch. A center dot all the way at the top of our canvas. About halfway, we're gonna put this little platform. This is about three inches wide. So it was a little line? A little straight horizontal line, about three inches wide. I came down about three inches and we did another long platform here. Okay. And then we're sort of just connecting from the very top and coming all the way down. And then you're gonna just do a double line so that it gets wider as it comes down to the bottom. Okay. So hopefully that's quick enough and helps. Yeah, now else. I've got a question from Janice. Okay. Janice says, at some point, can we see the entire original picture so that we can do it on our own at a later time? Well, Janice, the picture that you're talking about is right there in the no, picture. No, she's asking about the bottom area. The bottom area? Yes, which I have covered up. Because there's it's like a reflection pool, and there's so oh. much other stuff there. So that's oh. why we're just doing it from the grass. Because what I'm thinking up. is the picture's right there in the screen. <laughs> no, I'll post the original so that you can see it in the... Um, in the right because all week you were talking event. about this and you were saying we're not doing the bottom yeah it's just too many extra steps especially with how long it's take taking to to sketch out so with getting all that in the background there was like so many extra steps for the bottom right i wanted to try and wrap you guys up in about two hours for you guys okay because once okay. we hit about that two hour mark you guys are wanting to check out on me so. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, I know Rascal. And, as, and okay. of course, as always, when whenever we do an event, we always have the video at the end of it, and we uh, leave the video yes. at the event after the event is over. We, yep, it's saved in there. Okay, Absolutely. all right. That's okay. cleared up. All right. So we're mixing for our grass area, and about halfway up our um, the bottom area of our tower. Okay. We're mixing some green, so it's just two, maybe two big scoops of yellow and a little scoop of blue. Mix until you're happy with that green color. Two scoops of yellow and a yep. little scoop of blue? It's going to be more yellow than blue. Right. Now, Jamie says, is the arch yellow? Yes, the yep. arch is yellow, and the entire tower is yellow. Yes. Yellow mixed with white, right? Yeah, I did a little yellow and a little white. 
Okay. So it covers, well, didn't really, but it's supposed to cover your 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 uh, sketch, so okay. that you can then just see the tower. But because yellow is transparent, so you can see through it. So usually, adding a little bit of white helps that. All right. Now, what brush are you on now? It, we're sticking with this brush the entire time until we move to outlining the tower, and then that will be a, a finer detail brush if they have it. Right, so. Meredith, don't worry. We will be repeating the steps. If we have to, if we go any slower, I don't know how much lower we can go. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know where you're at. We'll be but. repeating the steps. <laughs> so again, it's our, we're mixing green. It's two, two scoops, scoops of yellow, yellow. One scoop of blue. Mix till you're happy with the green color. You can make it whichever, whatever color you want. Whatever we're just, shade. We're going to just do some variations on it. So all of our strokes for the whole entire background is just this brush just pressed on the canvas. It's just little dots. And you can move this brush just down a little bit or you can work it up, whichever you feel comfortable with. Okay, so you're just putting dots of green? Yep. So on, well, how on, high? I'm gonna go right, right about halfway to where that bottom arch is. So about halfway to the bottom area of our tower. Okay all the way so about that high and we're going to fill that all in down here with these strokes that you're doing yes we are going to add in so under our um arch, arch. i'm probably only going to go about halfway because we have lots of blues in there okay so don't stress too much about that so i'm only going to probably go maybe an inch from the bottom of my canvas and again, this is just green and we're just doing little dots. Just pressing that brush to the canvas. And you're leaving space at the bottom of the arch. I mean, in the, in the well, inside you're leaving, the arch. Yeah, you're just leaving space up here. In inside this. the arch. Yep, and that'll, we're gonna go to different colors in there. Okay. So just green on your brush. You're just pressing that color right to the canvas. Okay. We're covering the bottom edges of our tower legs and of that arch. If you happen to go over the, the line or the edge of your tower, it's okay. You'll go back over that later. Okay. So don't stress too much about it. We don't want any stress, you guys. No stress for this. There's no stress in painting. Right, so if the green touches the tower, what it's okay because it, okay, you're going to still yeah, paint you the tower. Yeah, we can go back over it later, so don't worry too much about it. Okay. <clears throat> and that's about as high as you go with the green. Yep, that's about as far as I'm going to go up with the green. With this color green, we're going to make it a little bit different next. So we're oh. going to keep creating some shades. Okay. So I want you guys to get that on there first. And then just give us some thumbs up or likes so we know that you guys are ready to move on to the next. Right, now you said you're gonna make a different shade? Yep. Okay. All right, so while people are doing that, I'll read off a little bit more events that are coming up. Okay. Now, I, I, I covered the rest of this weekend, right? Right, yeah, we got through this weekend, that was it. All right, so then once once Sunday is over with, and we did the heart in the sand, then uh, the next painting session that you have is Thursday, May 28th. That's a pay, uh, that's a pay event. Yes. Yeah, so that's Paint and Meditate right, so with Nikki Stewart. That event is, um, it will be through Zoom. So it is a fee. It w is with our, our friend, psychic medium, Nikki Stewart. She will be leading us with a 15 to 25 minute, maybe, meditation session. So for this event, you're going to want a calm space, a quiet space, um, free of whatever distractions you can possibly just free yourself of. Um, it was supposed to be an in-person event, but now it turned into virtual. So she's going to lead us through that meditation. Um, we will have, you'll have your paint set up, your canvas set up, and all of your supplies ahead of time. Again, you source all of your own supplies. And we'll then the object is to channel what you're seeing in through your meditation and get it to canvas. We expect lots of abstracts. So there's no drawing on your canvas. There's no set item that it, there's gonna be. It's just what you see. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to do that with you guys. So we have a limited to, um, our Zoom is limited to 100. 
So um, right, put in your 10 bucks, send in your PayPal or Venmo, and just make sure you uh, They can sign up email. here on the Mimosas and Masterpieces page. Once you send your Venmo or your PayPal, just mm -hmm. email us so we have your email and mm -hmm. let us know that you've paid your $10 for that Paint and Meditate session and we will add you your email to the Zoom call. Okay. Um, and then we'll, we'll send you ahead of time the, um, the link for the Zoom book prior to the event. What painting is it? There is no painting. It's, a, it's an abstract painting, right? right? I'm right. going to create it after you meditate. Yeah. All right. That's it. No, because that's what Jamie's saying. Jamie says, what painting is it? There's there is no, no painting. painting. Yeah, there's no painting. It's just what you are going to have all of your supplies in front of you and a blank canvas because we want you to open your mind to what may be there. We don't know what's there. You, we don't know what you'll see through your meditation. Mm -hmm. So we just expect lots of abstract stuff. We expect to see lots of colors or maybe lots of dark stuff. We, you don't, we don't know, but... Once we are completed, we, um, we're going to kind of go around, depending on how many people we have, we may offer up like, show us your painting and let's talk about what you may have seen and kind of um, analyze them a little bit. Okay. So yeah, uh, we're really excited for it. So we'll see what happens. Now for making of the green, what colors did you use again? Two scoops of blue. Nope, two scoops of yellow, one scoop of blue. Two scoops of yellow and one scoop yep. of blue. That's what you started. And then you fill in all down there except for most of the arch. I mean, yeah, down we're at leaving the that top area of the arch open. Okay. Now, um, a couple of people are ready, but there's still some people just touching up at the end there. Um, let's see. I know Bumika's ready, yeah. and um, I know Ethan's ready, <laughs> and Kim Maxwell's ready. All right. Okay, but there's still people still finishing in their green. So we'll give them just a couple of more minutes. Maybe one more minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't want to hold everybody up. Right. We don't want to, yeah, sorry. And then what we'll do is um, at the next break, I'll go over the following weekend, which is next weekend, what we'll be painting. All right, so I guess you will, if you want to start, I mean, if you want to continue on, you can go ahead. Okay. We'll repeat. We, we, will, we will be repeating the steps. Okay. So. so to that light green that we made, we want to make that a little bit darker. So you can do that by adding some blue, mm -hmm. or you can do that by adding a little tiny bit of black. We just want a darker shade of green in there, just so that there's some dimension. So making a slightly darker green, and I really just did that by adding a little bit of blue okay. to some of the green that I had already. Oh, okay. And again, we're just, we're kind of overlapping, going over those areas that there may not have been any paint. Okay. So we're just filling in this area. Where there might have been no paint. Yep. And you'll overlap your brush strokes. That's okay. You will overlap some of the green that yep. you already put on. Yep. We don't want to see any white canvas by the time we are done with our entire painting. But this is, this is the... The technique that we're using throughout the whole thing. Okay, so you're just going to be dabbing. Yep, so you're just paintbrush to your canvas and getting that color on there however you can with that brush. Okay. Just a little spot. So just a little patience. and. Yeah, this, does, this will take some patience, guys. All right, and you're just going to dab, and where you choose to dab is up to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we just want some variation of color in there, that's all. Okay. Okay, now could you say that again? Say it again. Emma Shea Thomas says, okay. sorry, could you please say what you just did? Yep. So all we did was add a little bit more blue to the green that we had already so that it makes a slightly darker green. You could also use a little tiny bit of black, but the black, it makes it really dark really fast. So I just usually opt for a little bit of extra blue in there. It made a darker shade of green. And we just went back over in the areas that didn't have green on it yet. It's okay if you overlap your colors. It's fine. That's what we want. Right, and you're so just dabbing, and you're just dabbing with your just paintbrush. taking your paintbrush and pressing it on the canvas. Okay, not doing anything special. Nope. 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 
Light blue or dark blue? Um, I only have one blue, so. <laughs> so if so they have whatever. light blue or dark blue, they have to just they'll just have to mix. Yeah, just use to a see little. How it, it comes doesn't out. matter. A little of whichever color. And they add we'll accordingly. Turn that darker. Right. Add accordingly according to what shade or color you want. Yep. Yep. Uh, like I said, this every painting that I've done is different. I can do the same painting ten times and it is different every time I do it. Right. So. Don't. And if you take a look at our if you take a look at the pictures that people send in. At any choose any of the events that we've done already and look at the gallery or the pictures or the slideshow and you'll see everybody's variations on the pictures. That's what makes it fun for us it is. to see what you guys do it and is. what choices you make and what colors you use, what shades of colors you use. And it just brings it brightens our day when we see all of these pictures be sent in and then we put up put them together to make a for make sure. a slideshow and then it really looks really nice when they all go by. You know, yeah. you see them all going by each person's picture. So definitely when you guys are all done with your paintings, we want you to send photos. Send photos of what you're doing while you're doing it. We like in-progress work too. Um, send pictures of you with your paintings. And then a couple of days later, we will put a slideshow together and then we'll share that in the event. And then we also, I'll put a gallery up so that there's a photo album for just this event so that your painting will be in that photo gallery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the next uh, the next color that you'll do is we're gonna rinse and dry that brush and we're gonna go to that light yellow color that we used for our tower. Okay. We're gonna just use that light yellow color and do the same thing. Put a couple of light yellow areas in there. Just dabbing in whatever spots may still be open. Well, you just did all of that green, so now you're gonna put yellow in it? A little bit, yep. These are kind of our highlights and our grass and our brush or bushes, whatever's here. And you're just touching little areas softly? Yeah, I'm just doing the same thing that I did. Again, you're going to pick up all those light green colors that you did already. Okay. That's okay. It's blending and making its own color right on the canvas. So it's all right if it looks messed so up So just mixed. keep dabbing it like you did with yep. the green. Same thing. All right. So you're not touching it too light. You just... Yeah, I'm putting, I mean, I'm putting some yellow paint on there. Okay. You may have to just keep kind of going back every... So often they grab more yellow paint because you keep getting green on your brush. Oh, okay. And that's all right. Well, Bumika is really appreciating this effort. She loves it so far. Oh, good. And you're going to rinse and dry once you're done with that color. Oh, okay. So you just put a little bit of yellow touches in there. Yeah, just a couple of yellow. And now you're going to rinse and dry off your brush. Yep. Yes, yeah, Cindy says you are such a well. Eva and uh, and Mom says uh, you are such a good teacher. Aw. Okay, now um, Anya says uh, you were glitching. Did you uh, do anything after the grass? the grass? No, we haven't done anything so after far the grass. It's just your light green, your dark green, and then yellow. Rinse right. In rinse and dry your brush in between each of those colors, and that's all we've done so far. Is just filled in that grassy area so far. And Margarita says, uh, just to confirm, this is the small round brush, right? Same thing, yep. Sticking okay. with this, the only time we'll switch is to go to uh, maybe a finer a detail smaller? brush when we start outlining. But other than that, we're sticking with this brush the whole time. Okay. Yep. And if you want it to go faster for yourself, the bigger the round brush you have, the faster that these dots will go for you. So it's up to you. If you're a quick painter and you want to go to a tinier brush, then these little dots will just be smaller okay. and more pixely, if you want to call it like that. But, all right. um, but that's all. So we did light green, dark green, yellow on our grass and little brush area. Mm -hmm. I want to get back to this area in here and we're going to start working up here. We're going to fill in with some of those blue dots. So next I'm going to go to blue. So if you have a dark blue, if somebody that had dark blue, I want to do the lighter version of that first. So a regular, I, I am using cobalt blue, so I'm using that first. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go right above where our, and it's okay to overlap it, where our grassy area was under this arch. We're going to go to blue, just regular blue first. And again, I'm overlapping into that <coughs> green color, so that's okay. Okay. 
I'm going to almost fill that in all the way to the top of that little arch. And we're going to go over with some other colors, but for now, just that light blue. want to go and do we're going to fill in this area as well so we're going to do that the light blue first okay so you'll be able to sort of see my uh my arch now <laughs> it's not such a mess right you're covering the areas where you didn't want i'm covering the area that the i arch. messed up right okay that's all so you can see this area in here You know what? It's not, mine is not proportionate, as I'm sure most of them aren't, but right. it's okay, you know? You get it. You know what it is. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Everybody knows they're making it's the okay. Eiffel Tower. It's okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, that's the fun part of this whole thing. Yeah, I mean. You know, it's your interpretation and it's your creativity that you're doing. Uh, Renee says light blue or dark blue first. Use the lighter of the blue, lighter of the blues first, and then we're gonna go to the darker blue. Okay. okay. So start with your lighter blue, and then I am gonna make a slightly darker blue for myself on this. So. Okay. So lighter blue first. I filled in almost that whole area under my arch, and I came up a uh, right above my arch with that lighter blue. Okay. And then I'm going to make a darker blue by just adding a little bit of black to. A, a little, little bit of black to the blue? A little bit of black goes a long way, guys. What's so be the matter, careful. Rascal? You know what's the matter. Rascal wants you to stop painting so he can have you all to himself. I'm sorry, baby. He's ready to start protesting. He says, you painted yesterday. You sorry, painted the buddy. day before yesterday. You painted last night. You, you, <laughs> so you got to stop. All right. So I just mixed a little bit of black with a little bit of blue and we created a dark blue color. So I'm going to, again, go up over these, some, you know, get some of it down into the lighter blue so you're overlapping, but okay. I want to come up under that arch, up under the arch with the dark blue. Okay. And then we're going to fill the rest of this in with this dark blue up here. Now, Meredith and Hallie says, uh, how long have you been painting for? I've been painting since I was a little girl. I've always loved art, but mimosas and masterpieces kind of came about about five years ago. I stopped painting for a long time and forgot how much I loved it. Until I reminded you, right? Until, I'm telling you, I went and I took a friend who had never even picked up a paintbrush in her life. She is from Brazil. And I took her to a paint, one of these paint things, and I saw how excited she was when she created something that she was proud of for the very first time she picked up a paintbrush. And that is the feeling that I have been chasing ever since. That okay. joy of bringing somebody, you know, joy in doing something they had no idea that they could do is the best feeling in the world. So that is why Mimosas and Masterpieces came about. And we have been trying to do that ever since. And then when you started doing it here, virtual painting, you had that it's feeling just again. It's been so neat. Yeah, you guys, on our very first one that we did, you guys um, sent in so many letters and thank yous and your pictures. And the very first one that we did, over two months ago now, after coming back to... Uh, Coming back to the phone, I was crying because I just was so, I don't know, just so overwhelmed with everything. Come on, right side. Go outside. It's okay, buddy. He wants you to take him outside. I know. Outside. Gosh. My goodness. Well, I'll, I'll take him outside once we get started with the other colors because that will take longer. Yeah, he doesn't have no, no, no use for me either. whatsoever. <laughs> I'll let him out in a second. He's like, I don't care about anything you have to say. <laughs> So again, we have our lighter blue, our darker blue, lighter blue, darker blue. 
Right. And uh, are we dabbing? Yeah, we're just using that brush and just pressing it on the canvas. That's what we're going to do for the entire area back here. Oh. So we're just pressing our brush right to the canvas. Keep grabbing paint and pressing it to the canvas. Okay. That's all we're doing here. I just want to get these little areas filled in on the inside and then and then we'll go to the outside. Go outside, buddy. He's I don't know. Just leave the door open. We'll get up there eventually. Go outside. It's okay, Rascal. Go outside. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, but don't worry about it. All right. So again, light blue, dark blue, we're filling those in. I'm going to come up here and we're going to start doing some, let's do some purple in there. So if you don't have purple, you're just going to mix some, a little bit of red and blue until you get a purple that you're happy with. And then we'll use that. You can even throw a couple of purple, some purple dabs down here. A couple of little purple areas in here just to bring that color down. But then I'm going to work on filling this area in with purple. Okay. And you're still dabbing it. I'm just pressing it right on the canvas. Dabbing it right on the canvas. Press, press, press. Again, if you go over those edges of the tower, we'll go back over that. Get some white and um, some oranges later. Okay. But for now, that's all we're just going to... Dab these guys out here. Got some purple over here. Purple's my favorite color, so. Well, it looks like it stopped raining. <laughs> and now the birds here, there are other birds outside. That's funny. Yeah, I left the door open. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, a little bit of purple, and then we're going purple up here. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go to red. So I'm just going to use the same brush. And again, take your time, guys. I'm repeating. Also inside that part of the tower, so you just did like some of it purple? I did some of it purple. You can bring it all the way over, but I just left some of it open. Okay. So red on this side. Again, it's okay to overlap them. It's okay. You're mixing right on your canvas. Okay. Um, when we're doing this live video, it is automatically being recorded through Facebook, right? Uh-huh. And that's how we save the video. Yep. It'll get saved and I'll upload it right to Facebook as soon as we're done. Okay. Yep. Can you upload this video anywhere else? I don't think so. Okay, only on Facebook you can upload. I think so, yeah. We learned we can't save anything on your phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. and actually, while you've got your red, you can come up in this triangle area, get red in there. We're going to do red and yellow, so red and yellow in here. All right, so... The bottom of the arch is blue. Blue, light blue, blue. Uh huh. Light blue, blue. Right. A little bit of purple. A little bit of purple in the top part. Purple, red. Uh huh. Red and yellow. Okay. Because people are all working on that right now. Yeah. Some people are still working on their blue. That's okay. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna get this on there. I'm gonna let Rascal outside okay. and. And, then and Anya I says, will, are oh you God. adding red to purple? Yes, you added I did. Red I purple. added red to purple here. So again, we have light blue, dark blue, mm -hmm. light blue, dark blue, a mm -hmm. little bit of purple. Then okay. I brought the purple up here. Purple, mm -hmm. and then red, Okay. and then I brought the red up here. Red, a little bit of yellow. Okay. All right, let me run the rascal outside. Come on, boy. And Meredith said, can I add pink? Of course you can. We are going to play with all of the colors. Okay, so we're going to play with all of the colors. Absolutely. All right, she's going to take Rascal out for a second. <laughs> Be right back. So he doesn't lose his mind.
Puppy's okay better. Now. Puppy's better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If it's not the kid, it's the dog. Yep. Relax. You're fine now. Lay down. All right, you guys give us some thumbs up so we know we're, you're ready to move on to the next step. I think that, well, no, they're not ready yet. Yeah, they're no, still, yeah. They're still painting. While we're waiting, as people are slowly catching up, we'll uh, start talking about next weekend's uh, events. Um, starting on the 29th, that's Friday, next Friday at 7 p.m., we're doing platform three, uh, nine and three quarters <laughs> from Harry Potter. My Harry Potter fans. That's a Harry Potter Friday night. That's it right there. That's what we're going to be painting next Friday night. It starts at 7 p.m. on the so 29th. if you are a Potter fan and you're painting live with us, we do have, I probably have three giveaways for Harry Potter. So, Mark has been my mailman. He's been shipping stuff for me all, all the time. Mm -hmm. So we're, we'll give away three probably etched Harry Potter mugs. So we have that going on if you are with us. Okay. And we got a couple of people who said they're okay. They gave me the thumbs up. That's Ethan and Tara. Ethan is on it. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're still we're still waiting. Still, people are still filling filling in their inside of their towers. Okay. Now, after that Friday, uh, we still got to finish the weekend off. So that's okay. Saturday, May the thirtieth. We have one session on Saturday next Saturday, at one p.m. That's Kaylee's Mermaid Tale. That's at 1 p.m. next Saturday, May the 30th. That's it right there. That's Kaylee's Mermaid Tale. That's <laughs> a, one of our one of our uh, viewers, Kaylee, yep. who has painted with us on numerous Several occasions. Times. Yep. She has got an art collection going now, and I love <laughs> seeing it. I think a lot of these people have <laughs> art collections going on right now. That's so awesome. All right. That's Sunday. That following Sunday, May 31st, the last day of May. We're doing the ice cream cone. Yep. Okay, that's at 3 p.m. Sun next Sunday on the 31st of May. That's what we got going on next week. <laughs> this week, I mean, this weekend we're doing the double headers, but next weekend we're not it's doing double head. headers. <laughs> we're just doing one event, you know, one virtual session for each day. That's Friday the 29th, Saturday the 30th, and Sunday the 31st. Okay, so now everybody seems to be caught up and ready to rock and roll. All right. Uh, for those of you who are not all caught up, we will repeat the steps if we have to, but we're going to proceed now. Okay. So while we have this yellow up in here, so we did, again, light blue, blue, purple, purple, red, red, a little bit of yellow. Mm -hmm. So with that yellow, I'm going to just grab a little bit of white. So we have a this white, you know, the light yellow that we were using before. Okay. I just want to put a couple of those down in our blue areas. So, so you just poke in a little bit of white? Just a couple of them. It's that light yellow color. Just so there's a little bit of a variation oh, in color in there. Oh, okay. It's a light That's yellow awesome. color that you use to make the, uh, make the sour. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, guys, it's all you. This is the fun part. You are just going to... Keep going to your palette and putting dots on your canvas. All the colors. Okay. Give me all the colors. <laughs> so, so they're just going to randomly choose colors? Yes. So you can pick whatever colors you want. So I'm going to start with purple. I like to start with the darker ones first and go to lighter. So I'm going to start with purple, then blue, and then we'll mix. We can mix colors and make a lighter green color, a lighter purple color. Okay. So I'm going to start with purple first. So you're just going to randomly... Dab, just dots like you would, just like you've been over, doing. Just like we've been doing. Yep. You're just gonna put dots. Yep. That's it. So I start with the darker ones, and then the lighter ones kind of show up nicer. Now, if you want to create a pattern somehow, like you want, let's say, um, you want around your tower to be brighter, you'll just use a lot more lighter colors there. Okay. And darker colors on the outside. That's what I'll try and attempt to do now. Okay. So you can at least see that. And or how do you know when it's too much or when it's enough? In this case, this is not a less is more. This is more is better. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, you do want to space them out to start. 
since you're going to have multiple colors. Right. So you do it until you're kind of happy and you see they seem evenly spaced. And then go back another color. Just keep rinsing and drying in between. Go to other colors and just start putting them on your canvas. And it's okay if they touch each other. Yep, you're going to want them to overlap eventually. So that's totally fine. Okay. That's it. This is easy, guys. Easy peasy. And you don't have to rush doing this. You, you just got to take have your time to yeah, this and is decide just, what colors you want. Yeah, I mean, you're going to use them all. We're going to go to purple. We're going to go to blue. We're going to do uh, red. We're going to go to light blue. We're going to go to pink. We're going to make green. Okay. We want them all. Is there anything we're going to do to the tower? We'll go back to the tower and do all the details of the tower when we're done with our background. Okay, now Kim says, I have a problem here. Okay. When I try to make purple from red and blue, I end up with brown. Can you recommend a proportion of red to blue that results in a pretty purple? You're going to, it depends on what colors of red and blue you're using. Uh-huh. But let me see if I can, because equal parts red and blue sometimes yes. will give you a violet color. Uh-huh. So let's see. So you're using see a red and a blue. I mean, I know... You know, purple sort of almost borders on brown because of those two colors. Uh -huh. So, I mean, when I just mix equal parts of my red and blue, that's the color that I'm getting. Okay. So, it's pretty close to violet. So, try to do equal parts of each first and then maybe go to more blue. I don't, it depends on what color red and what color blue you've got. I know, it's kind of tough. So, then... Maybe I would put the red and put a little bit of blue at a time. So if you do more red. And then just a little, a little bit, of, bit blue, of blue. You're going to get like a violet color. Right. And then you could add more blue to make it darker, right? Yeah. Start with, start with that. That's a good idea. Start with a little bit of blue and then just, or I'm sorry, start with red and just add a little bit of blue at a time. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's too... So that's like a ma almost like a maroon color. Right. The, the red, the, the darkness of the red is going to determine how dark the color is going to be. Yeah. So, you know, but you can use all those colors. I mean, we're just going to keep putting colors on the canvas, guys. And the, the, and then she said that she ended up with brown. She could put the brown on there too. Yeah, right? you could put the brown in there. It just may not be, you know, purpley. That's all. Um, if you add a little bit of white to it, you may see which color is kind of overpowering it. Okay, Sometimes so that helps put a little too. white in it. Don't do the whole pot of paint. Like just um, just take a little to the side and go, okay, let's add a little white to that. What does that actually look like? <laughs> right. You know? Check but. it out on the plate. So yes, purple. So now they're just going to take their colors and they're just going to start dabbing after gonna... each time they wash off their brush. Yep, rinse and dry in between your colors. Yep. Rinse and dry the colors off of your brush and then put new colors on there and just keep dabbing. Yep. Be sure you come all the way down to those little bushes down here. It's okay if you overlap them because when you get to green you can always go right back over it. Okay. So don't stress too much about that. Everything is fixable you feel like there's something wrong. All right, let's go to blue. All right, so you've done different shades of purple. Well, that's because I was playing with the purple. <laughs> right, and now you're going to do some blue. Yep. Blue jazz everywhere. And now there's some reminders for those who are still painting and taking their time. No, and no rush, guys. We don't want to rush you. Doing their dabbing. For the month of June, when we begin the month of June, our first Virtual painting session will be on Thursday. That's June the 4th at 7 p.m. We're going to be painting the dragonfly painting. Okay, so when you go to the events and you... Oh, you're going to show them? Okay. Yeah, I'll show them. Oops, this is our dragonfly. All right, you go to the events and you go to the dragonfly and you'll see that painting come up. You know, I don't... That's kind of tricky. I don't know if it shows... The painting? the photo of the event in the event list. So it may not, it may just say those things. I mean, maybe if you're on a laptop or a computer. But where do they get to see the picture that you're gonna you be have, painting? You'd have to click on probably each one, I bet you. Or go to like our posts, if you just go to the page and then scroll through the posts, you can see it that way too, I guess. But I don't know if it shows the 
photos of everything in the event list. Okay. I'll have to look at that. My bad. No, I, 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 no, it's good to think about though, because, yeah, I don't know if it does show it or not. Now, see, Cindy. Uh huh. Oliveira Alves says, "My birthday is June 9th. Uh, Cindy, what do you want to paint for your birthday? Yeah, we don't have an event on that day. I don't know what I don't know what day of the week it is, but. Oh, uh, I think it's Tuesday. I could probably get a Tuesday night in if you want to paint with us, Cindy. You let us know what you want to paint. Yeah, that would be awesome. Write Cindy's information down for me. Yes, I will. So I remember. I'm writing it down right now. We love celebrating birthdays. I missed my birthday in May last week, so we have been just painting through it. <laughs> okay. And now Renee says my birthday is June 8th. Uh-oh, see? Perfect. So let's do, uh, I know Tuesday I could do for sure. I think Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday I am away. So let's do a Tuesday on the 8th or 9th, whatever day that was. Um, let's do a painting. What do you guys want to paint? Okay, yes. They said we can celebrate together with Gemini. <laughs> there you go. Maybe we should paint a Gemini. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that'll be interesting. That'll be a tough one. <laughs> so, again, I'm just rinsing and drying in between my colors. I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to go red next. I think that's probably. So you did purples, two different types of purples, and well, you I did didn't, blue. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really mean to do that, but you, we can, we'll mix at going forward. Sometimes when you start overlapping, it makes its own color, so. Yeah, Renee says, yeah, mermaid Gemini's. Mermaid Gemini's. Right. Mm. See now, um, now I just started reading a lineup for June. <laughs> it starts on the fourth, yep. which is a Thursday at seven p.m. We're doing the dragonfly. Yeah. But then that Friday, the day after Friday at seven p.m. is a GoFundMe session for yeah. Rubber Dub Dub Pup in the Tub. So we'll be doing the Pup in the Tub. Yeah, where's he at? On that exactly. Friday night. June this is the a 5th really cute at 7 p.m. This is a cute one, guys. We did. We have the Moon Lake kitties, and somebody asked us for a dog, so. Yes, Fumika, we're slowing cute. down so that we can have people slowly catch up. That's <laughs> why I'm reading off the events at this time. Yeah, you're just filling in your background. Right, right now, yeah, that's basically so. just filling in the background yeah. with whatever colors you choose, and you're going to dab around the tower. Now, um, I just said June the 5th was 7 p.m. Uh, event. And then that's Saturday at 1 p.m. We're doing the Autism Tree. That's autism on June tree. the 6th. Autism Tree is on the bottom right-hand side of your yeah, screen, you I think. Yeah, you can see half of it behind the, uh, behind the tower that's already painted on the right. You see half of it sticking out. Okay, now that's Sunday. We round out that weekend. Oh, wait, yeah. That's Sunday, we round out that weekend with a 1 p.m. family fire truck paint it forward event. That's a virtual painting of the family fire truck at 1 p.m. on Sunday, June the 7th. So that is this one. Right, that comes in two canvases, two right. small canvases. This is a great one for dad. Dad and son or dad and daughter mm -hmm. since Father's Day is coming up. Um, this is for the Mandel Fire Department number three that I belong to. Right, that's the painted so forward. We are asking if you um, we are asking no tips to us. It would be just a donation to the firehouse, and we can let you know how to do that. And if your donation is more than ten dollars, we will then mail you a light that you'll put behind this canvas, and it will look like your light is flashing on your truck. The siren. I mean, the the light, the light on, on the truck. The light on the truck. Yep. That's cool. Is there any way you can get that light put on the truck now so we can show them that when, uh, yeah, I mean, we're not right been, now, but, um, well, they're painting anyway, the next so. time, yeah, the next time we talk about that, can we show that light working? That would be interesting. Let's see. That would be so cool. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to see in the light, but... Yeah, but you're going to have a little light on there. <laughs> That'll be awesome. It's just a little light that's awesome. <laughs> cool for the boys, for sure. So 
and that we are just continuing to fill in. Right, so that's, uh, so far that's what we have in June. Um, we just got the one more date we just added, which is Thursday, June the 18th. That's the pay, that's the Paint It Forward Mask Squad. Yep. That's where the people will wear the masks. <laughs> that's our, we have a Somerset County Mask Squad who have been making, um, sewing masks for. Right, they're making the masks. Yeah, everybody's people. like sewing masks for all of our frontline workers, um, all of our first responders, people around town. You can request um, masks through them. So it this will be a private event. So after you've made a ten dollar donation to the mask squad, then you can message us. We will send you the sketch that you can pre do on your canvas. Okay. And we will send you the Zoom link for the event. Right, but that's it's for it's for those that make the masks. That's where the that's where the donation is going to. Right. For them to buy supplies and um, things like that. We, I know that brother, um, brother, the sewing machine company, brother, just donated um, new sewing machines to several of our sewers okay. yesterday, which was just so awesome to see. Yes. <laughs> now, Cindy says, can we paint an ice cream? Yeah, we have that, too. See? Okay. <laughs> All right, but that's on May 31st. That's yep. next weekend. Next Sunday at 3 p.m. we're doing the ice cream. Yeah, we're doing that one. So pop on for that one. We can celebrate that. <laughs> or maybe what she's asking is, can we paint and eat ice cream? Uh, always. <laughs> That's a no-brainer, guys. That's like painting and sipping. I am down for painting and ice creaming. <laughs> yeah, go and get a little bit of Gabriella's and have Gabriella sitting here next we time when we start painting. Yeah, really. When we do the ice cream, when we do the ice cream next week, then that's what we should do. We should have some ice cream Gabriella. while we're doing it. Okay. All right. So I'll go get the Gabriella's and you'll have it sitting right <laughs> over there, and you'll take a little break and have some Gabriella's ice cream yeah, while. Uh, all right. So that's what we'll do. We'll have some actual ice cream on the set <laughs> when we do the ice cream next weekend. So I'm mixing the next color. I'm going to do like that darker green color that we use down here. Mm -hmm. So I get some of those colors in here. Again, you're just putting dots in between, covering up that canvas. It's okay if you overlap some. Don't worry. You're just making new colors. Okay. It's okay. And you're not finished with the tower, right? Nope, we're going to go back to the tower and add in our details to the tower. Okay. Outlines, um, some extra colors, so don't worry too much about that. Now, when they're doing this dabbing right now with all these different colors that they're using, mm -hmm. they want to make sure that there's no canvas. By the end of it, you won't have any canvas left. So, so. there should be no white canvas showing. It At the end, yep. Everything dabbed with some type of a color. Yep, we're going to go to, um, we'll mix the lighter colors next. But I wanted to get some dark colors first down. So again, the my rotation was purple, blue, red, and now I've just mixed some green. So now I've got our, that dark green color that we used down here. Mm-hmm. And again, you're overlapping them, and they're it's creating their own colors. They're, you know, maybe brown, it may be orange, it may be, you know, purples. It's okay. We're just filling that whole area, and I promise, trust the process. We'll get there. We lost our music again. Oh, we did? <laughs> Why did that happen? How did that happen? I don't know. This Alexa is broken, I think. Alexa, play royalty free music, please. <laughs> Strange. Do you dab hard when you're doing this? I mean, I'm getting the paint off the brush, so yeah. I mean. Okay, but on, on your canvas, you're not dabbing too hard, are you? I mean, you have to press hard enough to kind of spread your bristles okay. of your brush. So enough. hard enough to, to put the paint on there. Yeah. I mean. So 
So basically, it's to your to your liking. If you want to put a little light touch on Absolutely. it, then you do that. If you want to make it harder, then this you do that. This painting is all about you and what you like. Okay. Like I said, you can go to those ti that tinier brush, and you can do tiny ones if you want to. You can use that bigger, flatter brush, like something bigger like this, and you can make bigger ones if you want to. Okay. All about what you want. <coughs> So I have purple, blue, red, green. Let's see if I can do some lighter colors now. Maybe I'll go to some, let's do that light green color that I had before. Yeah, Meredith and uh, Meredith and Hallie want to know who's talking behind the screen. Who's talking behind the screen? That's Mark behind the screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't make appearances. I just ask, offer support and stand behind. You would think he wants to be in it. No. 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 I'm not the star. You are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is your thing. If this was my thing, then I would be definitely front and center, right up front. Oh, my goodness. I'm just a sidekick, just the, you know, <laughs> the support. You're the voice. Okay, I could be the voice. <laughs> Yes, I'm her husband. <laughs> <laughs> I support her in everything she does. I don't care what it is. He has. That's so true. I Like I said, I was not doing this for a very long time. I encouraged her to and do this. She certainly did. And she took it off. Where it goes, <laughs> nobody knows. And she's taking it. Yep. And when we go out, you know, when we go out and do what like we had normally been doing, we would have live events. I would be right there by her side. I would come out, <laughs> fill up the truck with the easels <laughs> and the do. canvas and the paint. I roll and up and he loads towels. it and unloads it. <laughs> I lug it all into the place and set it all up. We could have a hundred people. We'll have set up a hundred canvases with paints and palettes and brushes and everything. Me so and Aiden true. will help set up that whole situation. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll stay and help, and then sometimes I'll go back home, and when it's over, then I'll come back, and then we clean up, and then we put all of that stuff back in the, in the car, in the, in the truck, and come all the way back home. <laughs> so we really love this. Yeah, this is, you know. We're not setting up. This is so nice. This is nice we're for not me. not carrying too. crates and crates of... <laughs> Of uh, easels and, uh, sure. and paper plates and bottles of paint. So this is much more fun because you guys are getting your own supplies. And then you're painting from where you are and we're painting from where we are right here. And then we get to see all your pictures and yes. your smiles. I love that. And, um, and basically that's what I do with Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer is a, a empathic person that helps people, that makes people happy and gives them great you memories try. and um, somebody has to love and take care of people like that. So I'm in her life and I take care of her and do things for her and give her support no matter what it is, where she wants to go, what she wants to do, I don't care. There's no questioning anything. <laughs> Just make sure that she's out there to do things for people, to help them, to make people happy. We need more people like her in the world that's making the best out of people come out of them. So. Basically, that's what we do. Yeah, this is our home and studio. Uh, when she started, when she started doing this, I remember the first time I think it was we had a girl's birthday party, mm -hmm. and they came down here and we set this whole studio up for a girl's birthday party, and they painted and they partied and ate cake and fun, ice cream, yeah. and good. then they sat all up on the steps and showed their paintings, and we took a video of it, and they was all happy, screaming, and it was a great feeling. And I said, you know what? Anytime Jennifer wants to do something like that for people, I'm going to be right there by her side to make sure that she gets this done. Because the world needs this. They need to have people in a good frame of mind, positive energy, uh, no stress, relieving of stress. <laughs> you know, have some fun. You know, it's, it's, it's serious, but it ain't that serious. You know, people love to paint. I'm watching her do this. I'm watching her tell people, 
Trust the process. <laughs> I'm going to help you show I'm going to show you how to paint. I'm going to show you how process. to paint this painting right here. And people, they, I've seen limitless groups of people say, oh, no, I, we, we can't, can't paint that. that. I'm not going to be able to paint that. And then as soon as we get done, they're all smiles. Look what I painted. I'm going to put this on the wall. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at this painting. I actually did this. Uh, we've, we've had events where we had a family come in. They were all fighting and bickering and yelling at each other. And they sat down at the table and sat in front of their paintings. And as soon as Jennifer started talking, they stopped bickering and arguing. Yeah. And by the time we got through with it, everybody had wonderful paintings. And they were all hugging and smiling. And we were all left out of there, all happy. I seen this firsthand. And that's why I say whatever she wants, right there, right by her <laughs> side. All right, so I don't know how far you guys are. We've got, so we did purple, blue, red. I used that dark green color. Well, Mika said, uh, did you use any orange or pink? I just mixed some orange, light orange. So I just went through with some orange. I'm now making a, like a lighter purple, like a lavender color. You're just adding white to some of those darker colors that you used and just keep going. So I like my lighter colors kind of to go last since they're, over top of all those darker colors. Okay. But, yep, just keep on going. So I'm gonna, after I do the purple, I'm probably gonna do a pink, and then a yellow, a light yellow again. All right. But yes, there's lots of layering, I know. This is gonna take forever to dry, guys, just FYI. <laughs> Heads up on that. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just keep grabbing more paint uh -huh. because you are going over so many other colors. Oh, so that's okay. what's happening. Yeah. But this is so much fun. It's relaxing and it's fun to watch it come together. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for painting with us. We love having you guys. We can't wait to be out of this so that we can start doing this in person again but honestly even once we do get back to um, some semblance of normalcy I suppose we will continue doing virtual events like this because we you know I can't travel to Michigan or Maine or Spain or, or Spain exactly. <laughs> I want to um, that would be awesome that's a great write-off can I write that off as a business expense? <laughs> Um, but you know we don't get to we wouldn't get to uh, reach all of you all over the United States and all over the world yeah. had we you know if we were just going out so you know um, being in quarantine has forced us to think outside the box a little bit and it's led us all to you guys so thank you so much we appreciate it you guys are all important every one of you to us and um, if you're new with us and this is your first time again thank you our goal my goal was um, again I, I work full-time so I don't you know I'm lucky enough to have enough to support and I didn't need the income that we've lost from this I mean it, it hurt but we didn't quite need it but um, we're running low on battery okay we can swap it out but um, you're gonna have to speak louder all right Well, you were talking about <laughs> being able to oh, so uh -oh. trust the computer or don't trust the computer. Don't trust the computer. We don't trust it. Um, so our goal was to hit 500 followers for mimosas this year. Um, I figured we've been doing this for five years. We should be at about 500. And with you guys all sharing the events and inviting your friends and I'm sorry, I need the adapter for the power so uh, I can plug uh, it in directly. Upstairs. Okay, got sorry, it. Sorry, just don't have it. Okay. okay. takes a 
a lot of hate because you're you keep going back and just kind of layering it and layering it on there. So I can't wait to see your paintings. That's just my favorite part is starting to get your um, your pictures of what you're doing. You know, when we when we do this in person, we are able to get that final picture of everybody together holding their paintings up, no matter what it is, whether it's a canvas or we personally do, um, do wine glasses and wine bottles, and um, we do acrylic pours and resin pours. We do all of that kind of stuff. But um, so doing it this way, I don't really get to get that final picture of everybody together. So the next best thing for me is to have you guys send us your photos. So you can do that right in the event. You can email it to us. You can messenger it to us. Um, you can post it right to you know at the end of the video if you want to. Um, I'll put up like a thank you link for you guys, and if you want to send out a reminder to post your photos, you can post them right there, save them all, and we will then um, add them later to, uh, to our little slideshow. All right, so we got, let's see, what colors did I do? My lighter colors, I did like a lighter orange, I did a lighter green. Um, a little louder, please. Sorry. I did a lighter orange color, I did a lighter green color. I'm gonna do a light blue color now. And then I think the last one I'll probably do is the yellow. So light, oh no, light yellow and pink. I didn't do pink yet. So let's keep going so you've got that whole, that whole area filled up. You want everything around your tower full. Yeah, now people are saying you sound distant because we, we were running out of switch. power, Sorry. and I had to switch from the microphone to the power source. So now she has to speak up. Sorry, I will try and speak up louder. I apologize, guys. We have a camera coming. It's just stuck and not here yet. Yeah. And all those little specks of canvas that are still peeking through those colors. Right, and what color are you on now? Right now I'm using a light blue. But again, this is your preference. You can do whatever colors you want. I'm just going through and doing the lighter version of all the colors that I did already. Okay. I'm sure there's probably a faster way to go about this, but this is how we're doing it. <laughs> Every artist has different techniques that they do and use. Still. Um, is the power turned on? That's probably why. The power oh, on. come on. You're killing me. <laughs> yes. So where's this power source you speak of? The, well, the orange cord is plugged in. No, no. Follow the orange cord. Oh, you unplugged the you unplugged the light. Yeah, we unplugged that big light. That was right, but there. the power source is plugged in. Yeah. So why am I getting a reading of low power? Okay, it's working, so let's just keep going. Okay. Is the light on on that thing? What light? Is the, the yeah, light the little on? light is on there, yeah. Okay, so then it's on. So then it should be powering. Okay. Right, speak, please speak a little louder. Right. Next, pink. Pink in there. So actually, while I have that pink, yes, I want to come down in our grass area and our bushes and kind of put a couple of little pink ones in there. So like there's flowers down there. So come back down into that green area that we made add some little pink dots in there for some flowers on our bushes. Since you sound really, really low. Try and get 
I turn up your volume all the way and I am going to do my best to speak loudly now. <laughs> and now Tiffany says, mine is a lot darker background. Should I add white? So go back to and add white to the colors that you did and go back over with lighter versions. That's fine. Okay. Yep. Add white to the colors that you did and add make lighter versions. It. Yep. So that's what I did. I just went back in, added white to the colors that I used. Right. And she says, also, she sounds really, really low. I know, guys. Sorry. That microphone really helps. If you can, turn up your volume on your end as much as you can. And I'll try to repeat the steps because I'm closer to the phone. Yeah, when it, when it takes a long time to do a session, yep. then we run out of power on the phone, and then we have to, ex, you know, we have to take out the microphone and apply the power source to the phone until my camera finally gets here. Then we won't have that problem, but right now we just have to wait patiently right, until yeah, the yeah. camera gets here. So I just did lighter versions of my colors. I did a light blue, I did an orange, I did the pink. We did a light purple, a light okay. green. Okay. So I'm going to my last color that I want to use is that light yellow and finish up any little gaps that you see. You just fill those in and that will be the end. That should be the end of your background. Okay. We know that you're probably a little farther behind than we are, so just take your time. I don't think so. I think people are caught up with you. So just give us okay is well that we know you're ready to move on. Well, Mita Patel says, thanks for the experience painting. I have never painted with my mom, and I hope to do it in the future. Uh, we, we have tons going on, so definitely come back. Yes, we have a nice, uh, nice list of events coming up. You check on our events and see what's coming up and see what days is good for you and come back and join us. Yeah. Once we're done with our background, we will get to the details of your tower. Okay. Outlines and some highlights and shadows in there. So don't run away from me too fast. Like I said, two hours and people are ready to check out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kimberly says, we can extend some grace. Technical things happen. It's Thank fine. You, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything that we've ordered, my mic came in quick, but the camera has been like forever. So yeah, man, I can't wait to get the camera. I can zoom in. I can pan left, pan right. Me either. We have a nice <laughs> microphone to hook up to it. Rinsing and drying that brush. I'm gonna have to get up and grab a phone. <laughs> unhook it and all of that kind of stuff. Oh my goodness. I'll have a really nice working camera. Yeah, just give us okays or whatever when you're ready. Then I think they're them. ready. Slowly some people, down. it's been, we, we're past, we, we're approaching the two hour mark. I know. So that means that some people are going to be like, oh, got to go. I'm done. <laughs> and, um, I'm tired of looking at me paint. <laughs> and then, uh, then, just the dabbing part was good because people can dab quickly. Yeah, I mean, we can go back to that. So you can go back and finish that area. So let's, for those that are ready to move on, yes. I'm going to go over painting the rest of the tower. Yes, because so that's, that's, that's what needs to be done. Yeah, and then you guys can come back and go back and keep dabbing later. So for our tower, what I want to do is create some orange areas for kind of like the shadows. Mm -hmm. So we're going to create an orange, and that's just a little bit of red, a little yellow. Create an orange color for yourself. Orange, right, see, orange. I've got Ethan ready. Ethan's Umiko ready. 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 Susanna. All right, good. So that's uh, Nadia and Susie. They're ready for Madrid. Okay, then we've got, uh, well, now, um, Azalea says, wait a minute. No, no, not yet. <laughs> It's okay. okay. You can go back to your dots, honey. We can go back to that. Sarah says, okay, we are ready. All right. So, again, I just mixed some orange, just some red and yellow together. Mm -hmm. If you want to switch to a smaller brush now, that finer detail brush, you can. Otherwise, you can stick with the brush that you've got. You're just going to want to rinse and dry that brush to get it to a point more often. 
Okay. Okay. So well, since we're working in smaller areas now. So now just before you do that, can you just repeat again about the dabbing? You could stop the dabbing right now and we could just work on the Yeah, you the can tower. stop your background for right now so that everybody's with me on finishing the tower and yes. then you can go back to your background. Yes. Okay? So we want everybody together on the tower. So rinse and dry the brush that you're working with. You can swap to a smaller brush now if you want to swap to a smaller brush. Mm -hmm. If not, just rinse and dry that brush and get it to a point. We've mixed orange. So red and yellow together will give you orange. Um, I did switch to a slightly smaller brush for this. Okay. Since we're working in a smaller area here. Okay. So on the, along the bottom of that first little platform yes I want to use a little swipe of orange on the bottom of that and I just I didn't take it all the way across I just kind of laid a little bit of orange across the bottom all right you didn't take it all the way across I didn't take it all the way across make sure you can speak loudly on the top on the right top area of this triangular shape yes I am using a swipe of orange on the inner area inside of that top tower area okay i want to do the same thing on this section so in that middle section on the right side yes you want the inside orange or a swipe of orange on the inside okay a swipe of orange on the inside of this bottom area you can make that a little bit thicker on the bottom okay yeah, let them see that. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're just putting that orange just in that area. Just some orange in there, and that will help with some shade. Okay. I'm going to come over and do the same thing on the left side now. So on the inside of this area here. On the inside. Yep. You can do a little over here, too. You just did a little streak. Okay, yep. at the top and in the center. And now you're going to do the bottom too? And then we're going to come down on the bottom, inside of the bottom. Again, you can make this a little thicker down here. And let them see the streak that you made. Okay. For this area in here, these are all, it's going to be all little boxes. So it's up to you how you want to go about doing this. You can add some more color in here if you want to. If not, you can just do the little boxes will outline in black, and then you can go back in when that's dry and add some color if you want to change some color. Uh -huh. Otherwise, for now, I'm just going to like leave that part and finish. So we're going to rinse and dry. And rinse gonna, and dry. Right, rinse and dry. I'm going to go to white. So I'm just going to grab some white, and we're going to add some highlights to this now. Okay. Okay. So I've almost... Let me actually, I've almost kind of lost my tower up there. So let me sort of put that back in. Okay, so you lost your tower up there when you was dabbing. Yep. And making that background. So now you're going to re, you're going to bring the tower back. So I'm just going right over that with that light yellow color that I had. Oh, okay. Light yellow. So if anybody kind of lost their paint, your tower, right, you can go back over and do that. Getting the edges back together just a, a little. <laughs> yeah, so anywhere that you may have gone over the edges, you can sort of go back over that a bit. With that yellow? With that light yellow color. So I do want to use a little bit of that orange color up in the top of this tower. Mm -hmm. so, sorry. So stick with that orange color and just the top of this tower you can do a little stri stripe of orange down there okay i'm rinsing and drying and now going to white sorry okay white so on that little brush i want to create the top of this i don't know if you can see it in your picture but it's kind of like an upside down triangle yeah they could barely see that <laughs> So we want to create that at the top of this tower. An upside down triangle upside at the top? Upside down triangle, yep. And you're using white. I'm using 
white. Kind of it's meshing with all the other colors, but as long as it's lighter, you can kind of discern it. We'll outline it in black in a minute. Okay. An upside down triangle okay. at the top. Correct. Using white, I'm gonna kind of add a little white stripe in there as well, down the side, one side or the other of your tower. Again, it's, it may be hard to see because you have lots of paint on there. Just try and get a white stripe in there. Yeah, that's hard to see. I know, it's hard to see online. Sticking with that white, we're gonna go on the outside of each of the lines of our tower. So on the outside, so all the way on the left side, all the way on the right side. You're just making a streak. I'm just using a stroke of white along the outside of each of these tower pieces. Okay. White on the outside, oh, that's got pink in it. My palette's in that. This is why you should mix up with other palettes. <laughs> okay. want to do a highlight on our arch, doing the right side and the left side of my arch. You can put some orange in there if you want to. I didn't get orange in there on mine yet, but okay. kind of forgot him hanging out down there. Do a little bit of orange under here. You're gonna add the white. I'm just You're writing, outlining it. Just some white. No, not really outlining. I'm just just kinda, adding the white. Yep. Yeah, just kind of doing a stroke of white along the top of those areas. Again, you can see all my little lines from my marker. Right. But you shouldn't be able to see yours. That's from the sketch. Yeah. I promise. Hang on with me. Hang on. Hang in there. I know. <laughs> the black will help when we get to outlining. Okay. <laughs> Guys, all right. Yep, everybody's doing okay. There's no more issues. All right. All right, so let's go to our outline. So again, um, if you have that little brush, that smaller brush, mm -hmm. switch to that smaller brush now. Rinse and dry really good. As you dry your brush, get it to back to a low point. A little bit of paint at a time on your brush just the tip of it. A little pressure at a time. So you don't want to press down like we were with these dots. Right. Because we don't want your brush to spread out and make a big area. Okay. We just want a thin line. So again, this is where you'll use that pencil grip, pinky to stabilize. You're gonna get your pinky dirty. Okay. Get paint on it. Okay. So, but, so we're gonna start outlining. So wherever you feel comfortable starting to outline, I'm gonna come up here underneath our that little triangle that we started. Right, the upside down triangle. Can yep. you speak louder? Sorry, rinse and dry that brush. Every couple of strokes that you do, rinse and dry really good, get it back to a point, and then just keep going back. Use that pencil grip, pinky to stabilize. And then we're just outlining. We're just going all the just way. Just outlining through. that upside down triangle. I'm coming all the way down my tower now. Oh, okay. You're going to outline it. You're outlining it. the entire tower now. But lightly. 
depends on how much paint you have on your brush, but you want to use light pressure. So light pressure to start. And use your pinky to stabilize. If it helps you, yep, if it helps. I mean, sometimes people can do this without that, and yeah, okay. good job. <laughs> but I'm getting paint on my fingers. That's right. It's part of the process. Yes. <laughs> Now each time you try to uh, outline the top part of the tower, you're only using a little bit of black paint right. on so a, such a small brush, but then you keep washing it and drying it. You want to keep rinsing and drying it because the paint will load up on the brush and it will start getting wider and wider. Oh. So you want to rinse and dry it, get it back to a point, a little bit of paint at a time, and go back to And that's how you can keep making a fine outline. Yep. Okay. These are things that they'll pick up on as they paint yeah. with you. Yep, come on the inside, get the inside of those little legs of this part of the tower. Seems like everybody's finishing up. Some people had to leave. Yeah, I know. I know. Once you get past that two-hour mark, guys, we're. I know. But don't you know if if we do go over that time and you're not finished, it's okay. Like, throw another plate on top of your paints. Stick something heavy on top of it, and that will preserve your paint uh -huh. for when you want to come back to it. Just go back to the video whenever you get a chance. That's right. That's and what then, the videos are posted for. Yeah. If it's too long and you got to go back to doing something, yeah. then it's okay, you know, because the video will come up and then you'll be able to go right, pick up right where you left off. Yeah. Now, Bumika says, I am not done yet. It's okay. That's We're all not right. Done either. <laughs> We're not done either. I'm done here. Right, see, Cindy says, I think I am done. Okay. <laughs> Well, you're done when you do what? You're going to have to add your initials to it somewhere. And then we want you to take a photo. Make sure you send it to us. Yeah, can you say that louder, please? So when you're done, when you think you're done painting, we want you to put your initials on it somewhere. I usually initial with my year. And then take a picture and send them to us. Post All right. them in the video. Post them. I'll, in Messenger. I'll, I'll send you. I'll put a post up when we're done of a reminder, a thank you and a reminder, and post your photos there. You can okay. do that too, if that's easier. That's good. Doing this arch down here. Now I do have in my, once I get the black on, I do have some little like white stars in there so it looks like it's sparkling. Uh -huh. And we can go back and do that if you wanna do that. For those of you that are kind of checking out, if you wanna do that later, you can. We just didn't want you to miss that part. Hope everybody's doing all right. Yeah, let us know if you need anything or you have questions on something. Well, at least where we are, it stopped raining finally. It did stop raining. It's very hot outside now. 
That's awesome. Now people can begin their Memorial Day weekend because I know a lot of people sitting in the house going, oh, this is not the way we planned on <laughs> starting our Memorial Day weekend. All right, again, for this section in here, you're just going to create little squares. So they're like little windows, I guess it's railings, really, right? So I'm just going to do little squares inside here. And if you want to add colors to these little squares later, you can add little colors to them when your black dries. Or you can just leave it. Come back with that little brush, rinse and dry after every couple. Get it back to a point. Little paint at a time on your brush. Rinse and dry. Back to a point. And keep going all the way across. All I did was I took my white paint and we just did like, you remember like the little stars that we used to do as kids, like just, you know, a, a T and then an X together. Mm -hmm. I just did that in little areas and then I did kind of some little white polka dots. The light touches once you're done with your background area and it kind of makes it look like it's, you know, sparkling, like it does, you know, like it shines, I guess, at night thing, I guess. There. Okay, now Jeffrey Davis says, my hand is really wiggly. Is there a way to make lines when my hand likes to jump around? And you showed the pinky. So if it's too hard, here's, so here's another option for you. If it's too difficult to do with a paintbrush, let your painting dry completely tomorrow, let's say. Tomorrow, go back with a Sharpie, like a big Sharpie, and do it in like a Sharpie marker. And as long as your paint is completely dry, the Sharpie will, will mark over your paint. And sometimes that helps instead of using a paintbrush, which doesn't help if you don't really have a stable hand. Mm -hmm. But when I am doing small areas, I use, like I hold on to the top part of my brush, like a pencil, and then I use my pinky and kind of hold it up against my painting so that I, I do have a little bit more stability Right. But if not, let your painting dry completely. Go back to it tomorrow with a Sharpie and go over those edges tomorrow with a Sharpie. That's, a, that's just an alternative instead of paint. And then as for your pinky method, it sometimes takes practice. You just have it to does. practice doing yeah. that. You're going to get your fingers messy. You're going to get your hands dirty. But it's okay. It's all part of the process. Enjoy it. <laughs> there you go. So again, I'm just doing a couple of these little stars hard to see, but just a few little of those stars, I can kind of overlap them right on the tower. And then some little white dots, so it looks like it's sparkling. It's hard to see. Well, you can barely see it. Yeah, you can yeah. hardly see it on here. I know. So, so I'll do my little star in this area so you can see what I did. So now, Janice, that. did you outline the inside? I did. So you outline the inside as well. Yep. When you get to your top up here, you can do that little white piece at the very top, but mine's covered up by my easel. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's about it, guys. You're just gonna make sure your background is all filled in. You can add in some little white dots so that it looks like your tower is sparkling or shining. Okay. You can add in some little, if you want to add these little, um, these little stars, you can. Um, Jeffrey says, thanks. I think the outline for this one will be abstract. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite all right. And that is just fine. Yeah, that one came out better. <laughs> But it's 
and you said again that people are going to uh, put their initials in one corner of the uh, painting want. with the date every or artist, the year. Every artist has like a way of where how they want to sign their canvas. Right. I always, I'm usually the bottom right or bottom left corner, my initials in the year. But some people like to, you know, hide their name or not sign it at all. But if you're famous one day, we need to be able to identify it. So. Yeah. Right, exactly. You never know. You, you never, never know, know what happens. <laughs> you never, never know. So yes, I will add my initials down here. So they're fairly legible, but you can find it. You know, when we're on Antiques Roadshow 100 years from now. <laughs> Tahira Yasmin says, beautiful painting. I couldn't join you today. But you can always join us later yes. at any time by just looking at the video after we post it when we ever do, whenever we do a a session yep. and uh, if you like the painting you can definitely paint it again because we'll always leave you the video the video will be there in just a few moments when we're done marja says thanks for another fun paint You're time welcome. thank, thank you, you for you joining us, us for this yeah. memorial day weekend Absolutely. and remember we're coming back tonight at yep. seven o'clock we'll we're going to be hours. doing right we're going to be doing the horse slash unicorn in the water running that's at 7 p.m tonight and remember, tomorrow is a double header again. Tomorrow, we've got the Mom and Me Moonlight Kitties. That is my favorite one. A lot of people are asking for that one. The Moonlight Kitties are going to be tomorrow at 1 p.m. Yes. And then the Heart in the Sand, which has always been a favorite, is going to be at 7 p.m. So we will be back here again tomorrow for a double header. And everyone, please have a wonderful uh, Memorial Day weekend, yeah, regardless of the warm. weather. We had a lot of rain so far, but it just stopped raining here in New Jersey. And, uh, and now it's nice and sunny. So uh, we're gonna go outside and sit outside for a little while until we gotta come back in here tonight and do, uh, <laughs> and do the, uh, the horse and the unicorn. That's right, gotta swap paintings. And we gotta recharge this phone so that we can make sure we don't have another yeah. shortage or another sure power outage. That is for sure. So thank you, Anya and thank Sue. You guys. Happy birthday. And Bumika. Happy early birthday. We'll see you back here at 7 o'clock tonight. That's right. Enjoy, everybody. Thank Enjoy you your guys. afternoon and be safe. That's right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys tonight. Bye. Bye. <laughs>